Hey, Tim here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through how to connect to Google Analytics in Tableau Desktop. The Google Analytics Connect has actually been available for some time, but it's one of those data sets where sometimes marketeers aren't actually aware that they can build their own custom analytics in Tableau and share those to the organization so others can also start using this data in a more flexible way. Now, throughout this video, I'm going to be switching between Tableau Desktop and Google Analytics itself. So if you're following along, it's useful to actually have a Google Analytics account so you can log in and see what it looks like on your own system. And then when we build a view at the very end of this video, you'll actually be able to contrast and compare and make sure everything is working correctly. The last thing we'll do is also publish the data source that we've created up to Tableau Server, or in this case, Tableau Online, so that other people in the business can essentially share this data source. Okay, let's jump into Tableau Desktop. The Google Analytics Connector is actually here on the left-hand side for me because I used it more recently. But if you can't see it here in the list of server connections, just click more and you'll see a much larger list. I'm on a Mac, so I don't see as many as Windows users, but you can see here Google Analytics is in and amongst all the other Google connectors. When you click on that, you actually get this interface that asks you to log into a Google account. That's essentially because a Google Analytics account is typically linked to a Google email. So you need to make sure you connect to the correct email that will give you access to that Google Analytics account. In this case, I have my own email for my blog. So I'll just click on that. And once uh, I give it permission, it, will, it authenticates you and you're now able to close this tab and head over to Tableau Desktop. Now we're in Tableau Desktop and you can see something immediately different. This doesn't look the same like a typical connector in Tableau because it's not working like a database. Essentially, this is connecting to the Google Analytics API and querying the data for you. So what you have here is a form-like experience to choose what part of your Google data you want to bring in. Now, these particular filters are actually exactly the same as you'd see in Google. For example, the account, the property and view can be viewed over here in Google Analytics. When I go to the top, you can see that I have my account, which in this case is just this single uh, account, Tableau Tim. I have two properties. Uh, one of those is my YouTube channel. I can actually track how people browse my YouTube channel. And then the second is my blog, where I actually track who follows my blog and who's visiting my blog. And then in each property or app, I then have views. Views are essentially like tables in a database. So in this particular case, I have just one view with all website data. But you can actually see here that I built a separate view that singled out traffic from my own specific IP address. Uh, but that's now deleted so you can see that it's crossed out. So I shouldn't see this in Tableau when I connect. Let's head over back to Tableau. You'll see here in Tableau, you've got the exact same list, the account, the property, and the view. And you notice here that I can see both accounts available to me here. And essentially you need to make sure you choose the right one. Otherwise the numbers aren't gonna match. I'm interested in looking at my blog and not my YouTube channel. So let's select that. And then the last thing is to choose a date range. Now, this is an interesting field because you can download all your data, but if the data set is too large for the API limits, then you will only return a sample of your data. Um, I don't actually have enough uh, website traffic on my blog uh, to actually <laughs> trigger the sampling. But um, essentially, if you head over to the Tableau documentation, there's actually a really good article here that, that sort of shows you how to troubleshoot that specific scenario. You should essentially see this uh, sort of warning here that says what the query returns. But at the same time, as you build this view, this might change depending on what you're asking Google to bring in. So you might not see this right at the beginning and you might see it right at the end before you switch over to a sheet and build a view. So we're gonna make sure we watch out for this as we go along and we're gonna sort of interrogate it in more detail. But I'll put a link to this knowledge base article so you can come here and troubleshoot any issues you might be having with bringing all the data that you need into Google Analytics. Okay, let's switch over back to Tableau Desktop. And now we're back, let's continue building our view. I'm just gonna take the last 30 days and you'll see here that I get the ability to select certain dimensions. Now, a useful dimension would be the page that a user is visiting. So let's just type in page and you'll see that this list dynamically searches through all the different dimensions possible inside of the Google Analytics tracking database and you can essentially just pick the ones that you need. So I'm gonna bring through the page and the page title. And now that I've got those two, you can actually see what's happening here. You're essentially almost selecting the dimensions and measures that you need. 
Now, you don't have to know the measures that you need off the top of your head. I know a couple uh, that I use quite a lot, but there are actually these measure groups. Essentially, if you choose one of these domain areas, it will automatically bring in certain measures on your behalf. So let's look at page usage. When I select that, it goes ahead and actually pulls through the typical metrics used to analyze um, page usage. Now, the thing to bear in mind here is that you're limited to seven dimensions and 10 measures. So think very wisely about what you're trying to analyze. I kind of like this because it forces you to focus your analysis. Uh, but if you, this restriction isn't ideal for you, then there, there are a couple of ways you can kind of uh, work around this, but you really have to put a lot of thought into which subsets of your data that you're getting and making sure that if you get multiple subsets, that they're at the same level of detail. I'm going to go ahead and add country to this dimension list. And now I think I'm ready to hop into Tableau and start analyzing this data. In order to do that, you just need to go over to sheet one. You'll notice that all API data sources typically require you to have an extract. So I can't connect to this data live. I can, however, set this data source to refresh if I publish it up to the Tableau server. So the best thing to do here is to go ahead with the extract, uh, select sheet one, and it will query the data from the API, and you'll see that we're now in Tableau ready to go. Okay, we're now in Tableau. So this is the familiar view that we're used to. We can just go ahead and check that everything is working okay. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the page title. This is actually quite useful because these are the titles that the page themselves have. And you can actually see all the different pages that have actually been visited on my blog. If I go ahead and bring the page views, we can quickly get a sense of whether this data set is actually making sense or not. And you can start to see here that, you know, this, this looks about right. The more meaningful item to bring here might just be the page, because I think this is just the page as it is on the URL. And I sometimes find it weird, but uh, this is actually easy for me to understand because it means that I can actually go to this page directly and see that more clearly. And so I know that this forward slash is essentially always my homepage because you can essentially add tableautim.com forward slash. And then when there's nothing after that, that's just a homepage. So I can see here that my homepage got 200 page views. Now, the critical thing is making sure that this actually lines up with what we're seeing in Google Analytics itself. So let's go ahead and just validate that. I'm switching over to Google Analytics here. And in order to go see the same view, you need to make sure that you're setting the filters to the same sort of metrics. I'm gonna go over to behavior. Then I'm gonna select site content, and then I'm gonna to go to all pages. This is where Google shows you how it's tracking all website pages. And you can actually see here that the forward slash also has 200 page views. The next biggest page has 139. It's my blog post on sketch noting. So let's go back to Tableau desktop and validate that that's the same. I also get sketch noting as the second most popular view. And again, I have 139. So in this particular context, everything is lined up and everything is validating and working correctly. Now, there are sometimes quirks when you won't see the correct number compared to what's in Google Analytics. And this can, can sort of be a challenge because what you need to make sure you understand is the level of detail that Google Analytics is showing you in the view that you're looking at. And that essentially comes with experience and understanding of Google Analytics and also Tableau because you need to be working with the dimensions and measures that you've brought in. Now I can go ahead and uh, break these down by a particular country. So I'm just gonna keep the homepage and I just wanna understand uh, which country visits my homepage the most. So it's United States right at the top on uh, 51, followed by India. Big shout out to all the Indian fans who follow my blog. And then the United Kingdom close after that at 28. Then you've got a long list of uh, other countries um, sort of below. But it's awesome to see this data here and you can start to see how this is really exciting and a great use case for Tableau. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is publish this data source up to Tableau server so that other users can use this to build their own view. In order to do that, we're just gonna right click the data source and select publish to server. When we do that, I'm already logged into my Tableau server uh, so you'll actually get uh, this interface straight away. But if it's not in the right place or you want to move the server that it's publishing to, sign out of the server and sign back into the correct one and then go ahead and choose your project. 
I'm going to leave everything as is because I'm just going to publish this straight up. But the first thing I'm going to do before I do that is just to check the authentication. I'm going to click edit. I'm actually going to enable refreshes on this particular data source. So I'm going to select this option here. And when I do that, when I go to publish, it will actually ask me to authenticate again, because this time around, I'm actually authenticating on behalf of the Tableau server so that it can go and get data on my behalf based on a refresh schedule that I set. I'm going to hit publish. And when this finishes, it will publish right up to Tableau online. Now, you didn't see it ask me for validation because I was actually already logged in. So just be aware that you might see that uh, login page again to authenticate your Google account. I'm going to select schedule. We're going to schedule this straight away. And I'm actually going to set it to uh, refresh every six hours. That's about as frequent as I'd actually want to look at Google Analytics data. Um, if I want more frequent data, then I'd probably just go to the Google Analytics page itself. So the dashboard should really only reflect sort of midday and daily changes. So let's schedule that refresh. And now you'll see that my data source is now published to Tableau Server. I can, of course, edit the permissions on this data set and add people and allow others to connect to it, just like I can with any other data set. But I'm now democratizing this data across my organization, and other people who want to use it in their dashboards uh, can. Now, the next thing you might want to see is this particular data source refreshing. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead here to the extract refreshes tab and you can see here that I actually have one set up. I set this up when I published it. But I can trigger this right now by just clicking these three dots and selecting run now. And when I hit run now, this creates a task that is then scheduled to run. If I go over to tasks, you'll see that I have my refresh here. This is the every 6 hour refresh. But the task I just set off now is actually in the jobs list. So you can see here that it's pending. It's this top job over here. Now, I actually ran one earlier on, but you're not actually able to see the details of the job because that only hangs around for a few minutes after the job is complete. So we're going to wait here and just look at the information uh, of the run. It looks a little something like this. And essentially, this queue time shows you how long it's going to be waiting in the queue. So it might be 11 minutes before this data set is refreshed. So I'm just going to pause this video. I'm going to let this complete, and then we'll come back and check the data is up to date. OK, that actually finished much, much faster. Uh, this time, it only queued for 0 0.7 minutes, uh, that basically um, you know, 7 tenths of a minute, whatever that is. I can't do the maths in my head. Um, but you can see here that the task is complete. Uh, this was successfully run and, is and has successfully updated. And so our data source is now up to date, and uh, users can actually start uh, using this particular data source and engaging with it and even uh, using it in places like Ask Data um, to build their own views and ask very, very simple questions. So that's how you connect to Google Analytics and publish that data source up to your Tableau server so other people can use it. In future videos, I'll show you how to build more advanced views with Google Analytics. And for those of you who are wondering how you can get Google Analytics data into data prep tools, uh, once published to Tableau Server, you can actually connect to it using Tableau Prep because all published data sources can actually be connected to using Tableau Prep. So you can actually even start to blend this data alongside other data like social media data that might be coming in from another data set into one central source. Okay, you can see here that Ask Data isn't available, uh, but thanks for watching. Uh, tune in for the next video and I uh, hope to see you soon. Uh, if you've liked this video, hit the like button. If not, Drop a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see, what you'd like to see improved. Maybe something I didn't cover something. Let me know what that is, and we'll try and address it in another video. All right, I'll catch you in the next one.